Hello. I have a headache. Also, as a fan, it is on my wall. <laughs> so, where my floor fan was previously, um, it circulated the air in such a way that um, the cold air coming directly out of my air conditioning was blowing upside my head and giving me headaches. Um, because it was just too much. And so I tried this out, and yes, it very much reversed the cycle of air in the room and uh, keeps keeps the cold air from being pulled directly onto my face. Specifically my ear. <sighs> so yes. Hopefully it's not too annoying because initially I was like, oh, I'll just turn it off when I do this. But then I just didn't. And <laughs> I am lazy. Aside from the fan, getting the fan, today was fairly chill. Um, did the dailies in PSO2, which is still just continuing to be fun to play. Um, it genuinely is fun to play, even if I'm kind of out of stuff to do uh, besides level up and build gear. Um, but it helps knowing content is coming, you know? <sighs> and at this point, it'll just be something that's always on my hard drive that I revisit whenever something cool comes out. Um, then I did a couple of ships in Hullbreaker, Shipbreak, what, whatever, you know what I mean. Um, did a, the, the second class up today, and that was a big boy, that job took a while, but it was really satisfying. So, I'm probably just gonna keep, I'm probably gonna like, limit how much of that game I play a day. Because it's really zen and chill, but it's also a bit stressful. Um, but only when I'm dealing with reactors. Stressful's not really the right word for it, because there's no real... Um, in the mode I'm playing, there's no real consequences. I mean, yeah, there's a goal you're wanting to meet, and when you die or mess up stuff in the ship, you make less money. But, I'm just doing it to chill out. I'm not playing it as an objective-based game. Um, not as far as trying to complete it as soon as possible. This is something I kind of want to play on and off over an extended period of time. So I also started a new RimWorld call. That's right. Another new room I'll call it. And instead of one extremely broken colonist, uh, I have three less just just like normal broken colonists. They only have two or three specialties and among the three of them to cover the spectrum. Um And the only job with some overlap is construction, as far as having people that are halfway deep. Having a second person that's halfway decent at it. I also intentionally... <sighs> ...chose not to have a researcher, so that I have a reason to look for recruits. And not long into the game, uh, a slaver wandered for and I heard a slave who was good at intellectual. And that's her job now. I also chose one of the scenarios that come that came with uh, 
vanilla expanded, which is it's supposed to be your a single colonist stumbling across an abandoned factory. But of course, I have my three three demigod colonists stumble across the abandoned factory, and it's cool because I stumbled across um, a setup for automated stone cutting. And, um, so that's neat. I'll have like an endless supply of that going on. Two auto drills and two masonry saws. My goal for this run is to get really into the autumn, the, the like factory elements that that particular, I think it's mechanoids, but that particular part of vanilla expanded added. I really want to get into the, that stuff, the automaz automazate, auto, the automation of a colony. now I'm going to sleep so I will catch you all tomorrow good night